Hey hey guys, what is up everyone? Invert here. No gameplay for today. Today I will do a quick rundown of the new patch preview. Now we haven't got the full patch notes, so I'll probably do the item changes for another time. Maybe for another video. First thing first, let's talk about the most important part of this patch. Yep, you guessed it right. Beekeeper sits. We'll be having beekeeper sits on this patch, and we haven't got the exact date yet, but I've done the math. If they'll release the Star Guardian skins first, and then the pool party the second. Assuming the release date will be based on reveal ordering, I can conclude that we'll be getting beekeeper sins by the end of August. Now I'm not pulling out that random date out of my ass. Believe me guys, I do the math. This is legit facts. Big facts. If you don't trust me, you can, you can ask me personally on my Discord. Okay, now that we have that out of our way, let's talk about the stuff I'm excited the most. The matchmaking and the meta shift. The meta will be changed significantly due to the appearance of Elemental Dragon. So they decide to remove the soul system entirely because they think it'll take a long time to play and there's a little chance for an Elder Dragon to spawn. I've already played the beta of the beta version of the Elemental Dragon and the Elder Dragon is rarely rarely spawned. Out of my 5 game it probably only spawns once. It is rare for an Elder Dragon to spawn. The dragon still works the same though. The difference is now the roof will change after the first dragon is slain. The, the map will change if you kill the first dragon. And if the game reaches 19 minute mark, an elder dragon will spawn. This elder dragon gives perma execute to all enemies, hit below 15% HP. Pretty broken. They design it so you can close games with more ease. 50% execute, that's that's a big that's like half of Pike Pike Ultimate, I think. All the dragon buffs is also changed. I will link the full info in the description below so you can read it. One thing that is missing is Cloud Dragon. For some reason, they remove mobility buffs from the game. We don't know if this is a permanent change or it will be uh, temporary. We don't know how long will it be absent from the rotation. But this is a huge loss for Sins. Cloud is pretty good. I can kite my enemies easier as since with this cloud dragon. Too bad they remove it. Okay, they're also bringing what's next? They're also bringing new enchants to the game. Enhancements, boot enhancements. It is mostly designed for support. I'll probably review it once the full patch is released. Oh, they also changed how gargoyle works now. You get shields instead of HP. I don't know why, I don't see why it's a different thing. Maybe so you can actually see how many bonus stuff you'll be getting. Maybe it's more of a clarity, clarity issues, I don't know. These insane changes are made because too many champions build stasis nowadays. So they wanted to make variety to boot enhancements. Oh also, a fun fact. They change stasis into Zonia on the preview if you read it carefully. Stasis enchants, boop, Zonia enchants. Not a very important one, but they made it to match the PC version. I don't know if people will still call it stasis now. I don't know. I never call it stasis. It's it's a Zonia for me. One thing that disappoints me is the removal of shadow enchants. You know, the one with the ghost thingies. You spawn two mini ghosts to reveal and slow the nearest enemies. My disappointment is not how it's removed, but the reason it got removed. They say it is because the enchant is not used frequently. I would say that's cap. There's no way the shadow enchant is less popular than Glorious or Gargoyle. It's a perma pick against stealth enemies. You can counter Akali Shroud, you can counter Evelyn, Timo, you can counter Senna, you Pike, even. Any heroes who use stealth abilities, this item counters it. There's no way it's not used frequently. I see them in pro play as a vision tool. It is also safer to use this instead of, I don't know, face checking bush. Did I call it right? Yeah, either way. Personally, I think that now that control ward is here, they wanted to use that as a tool to counter stealth, not the shadows. But that's just me though. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments. Okay, lastly is the new solo rank. This is the feature I look forward to. 
how many times you see a challenger and you thought to yourself uh, he probably got carried or he got a better duo or maybe maybe he probably win trading those kind of stuff since the LP gain and loss changed from the last from the recent patch it is easier to climb now since you won't be losing LP as much as you would be now I'm not trying to be an elitist saying these diamonds are ruining my master games no I'm, I'm saying that the current rank doesn't feel like it represents the skill level accurately I'm a diamond player from season 1 and I and even I can reach masters now due from the changes playing also playing in the duo and trio environment changes the game drastically than playing it solo so I really hope that this solo rank can accurately represent our skill level and push more solo fiestas those kind of games okay that's all I can share for now boys we also got other exciting stuff like new champions old cooldown changes and old rework changes but I'll maybe talk about those once we get the full notes I don't know let me know if you like this type of content me just talking and if you want to talk more about the game stuff feel free to join my discord I will link it on the description below we'll be holding a beekeeper since giveaway soon so don't don't miss it and as always stay awesome bros Mahow.